Gwent is the card game introduced in the Witcher series and now has a standalone release. The game revolves around a series of three rounds limited by a default deal of 10 cards and then you are dealt one card for the remainder of the game per round, meaning you peak in between 10 to 15 cards depending on your draws and deck. Each deck contains 25 cards, which really puts an emphasis on utility and resourcefulness. Additionally, each card is played in one of three ranks on the battlefield, Siege, Close Combat, and Ranged Combat. These have tactical advantages for certain boosts in characters, as well as tactical disadvantages if the other team has specified advantages or attacks on that rank specifically. Having played a little bit of it so far, I can attest for the fact that this game is indeed challenging and engaging unconventional kind of game that is interesting because I feel as though it's a card game designed to not actually incorporate a deck of cards. The setup time alone for playing this on an actual tabletop seems like it would be troubling and discouraging, but on the format it currently sits in as an online game, it is incredibly fast and addictive. Additionally, this game is much more cerebral and will punish you for falling into traps. The drama for the game is high in this regard. The first round may seem like it is a make or break for the many people because if you overinvest, then you are in for trouble in the following rounds, though you can use feints and resignations to your advantages from the other player. There is one extra layer for new players to overcome. For me, I am not familiar with the Witcher series and have never played any of the games, so there are certain elements such as enemy types, militia, and name references that I have to discover through playing the card games specifically, while other games might have the character descriptions or designs that will clearly indicate what to expect from that character or card. It can create a formidable challenge for new players in their first few rounds. This can be cleared up by a longer and more in-depth tutorial, however, it's nearly an exclusive problem at this point and something you can pick up through just playing the game. Gwent is catching on and looking to take some of the focus from the other online card games out on the market. Additionally, since most rounds are around 5-10 to 10 minutes, it is a great game to play on your lunch break if they ever get around to porting it to mobile, though it might squish your screen. If you are looking for a great game to really dig into, it's early in its development to quickly become a master, and the mechanics of the game are very fun and intriguing for anyone who has played card games in the past and wants something with deeper gameplay. Check it out.